The tripartite pact signed by Italy, Germany and Japan was a defensive alliance which became the backbone of the Axis powers in World War II. It placed Japan firmly on one side of a great global conflict that would soon involve the USSR and the USA and ultimately lead to Japan's defeat. But why did Japan join the Axis in the first place and what was it hoping to achieve? To begin, it's important to contextualise what Japan was doing at this point and what it wanted. So Japan had been fighting a war against China since 1937 in order to expand its own empire and have access to China's resources. This war with China was roundly condemned by France, Britain and especially the United States with whom Japan's relationship with had been deteriorating. Japan saw these diplomatic disagreements as a threat to its own independence and as more evidence that it wasn't going to be treated as an equal by the Western powers. As such, it sought new allies and the only two nations that fit the bill were Italy and Germany. Japan had already joined the Anti-Comintern Pact in 1936 in an effort to hem in the USSR but this wasn't any sort of formal alliance. The issue that Japanese leaders had was that they didn't want to immediately antagonise the Western democracies and so it dallied in making any formal commitments. In fact, Japan was so cautious during negotiations that Germany and Italy formed their own pact in 1939 because they didn't want to wait any longer. So Japan's reasons for joining the Axis after all that delay are somewhat complicated. There was a strong belief in Japan that Britain and America were trying to build an Anglo-American cultural and economic hegemony across the world, and thus in Japan's eyes it had to fight this lest it become nothing more than a mere puppet. Many in Japan saw a war as inevitable and so sought to join a defensive pact with Germany and Italy in order to deter and thus delay the United States from coming to China's aid. However, the consequences of joining an anti-America defensive pact was that it confirmed to American leadership that Japan was now an openly hostile nation. So what about the USSR? Well, Japan wasn't exactly keen on communism, but its disdain was more about geopolitical strategy than ideology. For Japanese leaders, the Soviet Union was a potential rival for influence in China, which wasn't something they could tolerate. In fact, after Japan joined the Axis powers, it pushed for the USSR to be formally invited to help resist Anglo-American hegemony. Shockingly though, Germany said no, and so the next year Japan and the USSR signed a non-aggression pact. So that all seems pretty simple, right? Well, no. There is another reason why Japan joined the Axis that many people don't think about, and that's that Japan was deeply concerned with Germany and its rising power. When Japan was negotiating the tripartite pact, the Netherlands and France fell to Germany. Thus, Japanese leaders were concerned that this would mean that Germany would soon be in control of both French Indochina and the Dutch East Indies, whose resources Japan deeply coveted. As all these negotiations were going on, Europe looked like this, and so Japanese leaders were confident that Germany was going to win. As such, if it wanted to pry colonies away from Europeans, it felt that it needed German backing. And to force Germany's hand, it declared the creation of the Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere, or the GIACPS for short. This was to be Japan's rightful sphere of influence in East Asia in which they would tolerate no other great powers. All of this said, not everybody was keen on the signing of the pact and especially naval officers were concerned that it was Germany simply outsourcing a naval war to Japan. And with that, Japan joined the Axis powers. To summarise, Japan joined the Axis for several reasons. To protect itself against foreign intervention in its war against China, to create a coalition opposed to any Anglo-American hegemony, and to secure its acquisition of resources and territories in Southeast Asia, which it was actually concerned Germany was the biggest threat to. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching with a special thanks to my Patreon supporters James Bizanet, Colin Castleman, Danny Maloney, Marvin Cassell, Rob Waterhouse, John B. Gaze, Mo, Aaron the White, Michael Reynolds, James Castaneda, Gustav Swan, Marcus Arsner, Jordan Longley, James Castaneda, Gustav Swan, Marcus Arsner, Jordan Longley, Gareth Turner, Mr. Show, Rashid Ali, Spinning Three Plates, Phil De Oink Oink, David Silverman, Izzy, Winston Kaywood, Maggie Pakskowski, Lexi Schwinn, Spencer Lightfoot, Kelly Moneymaker, Robert Wetzel, Sky Chappelle and Anthony Beckett.